Hey, it's Steve Bonnie with Board Games. It's going to be an unboxing, but I want to say I'm going to get to reviews of these games as well. I've had a, a slew of games come in. Several games have come in. What I will always do is do an unboxing, and then I will kind of schedule them out for reviews. Um, I'm a slow game learner, even when I know the system. <laughs> so, um, But I'll get to the reviews eventually. But I wanted to talk... So GMT has Chad Jensen, who's recently passed away his Combat Commander series, back in print. Um, I believe you can get everything. Um, I think everything is out there. So I did not have the Pacific version. So extremely excited to look into that. And then with that came a lot of things. I went and purchased myself the expansions that were available at the time. But... I could not get the New Guinea expansion, so we'll take a look at that. Paratroopers, wasn't there, couldn't get it. Stalingrad, boy did I want it, really looking forward to this. Love the War of the Rats. Uh, the Normandy, Battle Pack 3, sorry I'm not putting them out in order here. And the Fall of the West. Battle pack number five. I had the other battle packs. Oh, oh, and I think maybe Resistance is the only one that's not available. But I'm going to come down over top and we'll just open these items up, take a quick look at them so you can see what's there. And again, know that you can go to GMT and Chad Jensen's um, system is back in print. And they plan on keeping it in print as well, which will really help Chad's wife, Kai, out. So uh, if you've ever had any interest at all, um, I was a late bloomer to the system. Please go take a look. It has what I like to call fog of command. Okay, over top of Combat Commander Pacific. Hello, GMT. Let's take a look at the back here, and then we'll get the shrink off. You can see, again, another a great little like cartoon art style on the side. All right. And from the back, let's see. See what we got in here. All right, right off the back, you can see the rule book. We've got non glossy Pacific. All right, guys are right up on a beach. Let's see what we got. All right, so you can see we're just uh, a lot of text actually. Picture of the card. At this point, though, if well, I mean, it might be your first foray into the game system. So we're explaining the counters. I would say ideally at this point in time, though, um, maybe you already kind of know the basic combat commander system. Star shells. Um, let's move ahead and just look at how many. So all the gray are going to be examples of play. And here's some of our terrain and buildings. Let's flip to the back. Oh, give me a page count. All right, 32 pages. 32 pages. Playbook. Um, I'll say it again, even though if you if skip ahead here, if you have played GMT games before, you will get a very nice thick playbook in most games, and it will end up walking you through the game step by step. Um, I haven't looked at this yet, obviously, but it is such a nice way, and this is one reason why the rule book ends up being more of a reference. So even though I like a lot of pictures in a rule book, you don't really need it if you're referencing back to certain locations. So here we've got Examples of play that can move through. All right, looking great. Let's go look here again. Uh, caves are in play. Movement, op fire. This is everything that when I first look at this, I'm thinking, well, where are my pictures? It's just text heavy. Well, it's all in the playbook. All in the playbook. All right, now we get into some historical scenarios. All right, I'm not going to spend as much time, but you can see how the layout of these are. Everything's laid out easily. You've got uh, your situational uh, report. And let's just skip ahead. Okay, what is back here? 
We've got some leader tables, orders of battle leaders. All right, how many pages we got? Radio tables. Hmm. Got 31 pages in the playbook. And what looks to be development, yep, development play notes. Several pages of that. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's get to the counters. Whoa, look at this. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Let me flip it. We got several maps. Let's see, whoop! All right, let's get these open just so you can get an idea. Love this. This is another nice touch. These are double sided, so you've got all kinds of jungle, little village, river. Boom! You come over here. We got terrain differences. Some kind of lake. Nice. I'm gonna open these and just move on. We've got what looks like a river and a beach landing on one side. Okay. Flipper. Massive beach leading into jungle. Rather than move the camera, I'll move the map. This is one thing I love. I mean, look at these double-sided maps. They're, they've got a little bit of a waxy quality, so they feel like they'll, they're very strong, will stand up. All right, we've got a hill terrain, jungle terrain. Here we've got a lot of palm trees and beach. Nice. And a plethora. Look at this, we got more. Map G. Let's get this bad boy open. We got a bridge. Some elevation changes, couple huts. Uh oh, what do we got here? Hmm, stone building. Um, what are all these? I don't know. Interesting. What is this? All right, look at this, even more. Let's keep going. So we've got some trenches. I know I saw something just glancing through about caves. So obviously you'll be dealing with that. Again, elevation, trenches, palm trees. This is awesome. I did not expect this many maps. Okay. Hmm. Great. All right, let's get into this. So, all right, we've got some. All right, United States order of battle. Support table on the other side. Japanese order of battle. Japanese support table on the other side. Pacific Commonwealth order of battle. Support table. All right, we've got terrain charts, single-sided, and a little play rate here. Covers your hand size and some different things, along with the units. Very nice victory casualty tract. Let me just kind of pan through. Chock full, chock full. Mines, wire, foxholes, pillboxes, cave. Nice. All right. And so your decks of cards. All right. I'm not going to go through and open up each of these um, decks. Japanese fire deck. 
I'll cover those when I do the review.